and welcome to my channel keeping up with kid p i am your girl kid p aka kid the crafter and today we are working on another resin project yay but before we get started i want to first say thank you to everyone who watch subscribe comment like everything that you do for this channel i appreciate you guys so much i love you guys so much and i have Look, I had to get some rules together. We got to get some rules together to just do some giveaways. But I got some stuff coming up. I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. And we are going to have some extra fun coming up in these next coming month. Okay? So make sure you guys share, subscribe, like, keep watching, comment. I love answering all the questions and everything that you guys bring to the channel okay so with no more further ado go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already liked the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that notification bell ding, so you could be notified when we upload new content okay so with no more further ado i'm gonna go ahead and take you down let's go all right guys we are back outside with our shells we have here we're gonna go ahead and as you can see spray paint them white yes yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start i got a little bit left in this can i want to see if i can get it out but if not we can go ahead and bust open the new one which yeah we're not gonna sit here and waste time with that it's hot out here in this texas heat hope everybody is having a good day so we're gonna go ahead and spray our first coat of spray paint on here give it a nice coating making sure you hit your sides And we're going to let this sit and come back and do another coat, okay? Sit tight. All right, guys, we are back with our white shells. I sprayed them a second coat. They are dry. We're going to go ahead and coat the top of these with our resin. I'm trying to get this on a flatter surface because for some reason or another, this box just is not sitting on a flat flat enough surface but that should that should do it right there okay so we have our resin I already pre-mixed it it's been sitting for a minute we're gonna go ahead and add I want to add the white iridescent glitter just to give it a little shimmer in the background so we're gonna add little generous amount of that into our uh, mixture our resin mixture and we're gonna mix that up in there giving it just a little iridescent look to the glitter I mean to the resin It's like a clear iridescent sparkly type situation I honestly think I want to add a little bit more glitter in there just to make it real glittery Stir that up. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and start and pour it on top of our purse here. Making sure we take it up to the edges. I have it elevated on a couple of little, um, like medicine cups or okay, that's pretty fully covered. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start drizzling it all around the corners along the edges so that it can start running over. And coating the sides. It's going to be so pretty. Same thing with this one. Go ahead and spread it. So pretty. And go ahead and pour it over the edges. So Side. and it's okay you know okay. and that is looking pretty covered and coated nicely I still have some resin left So I don't waste it because we don't want to be wasting no resin. I 
I'm pouring it in this other mold. I'll just give it time to um, All right, guys, we are back with our shells. They are um, completely dry, so we're gonna go ahead and put our decals on them. Um, I have my decal sticker printed on a transparent sticker paper sheet. So we're gonna go ahead and apply her on here. She is transparent and is going to fall in the middle and kind of uh, centered somewhat. I'm looking at the other one because I've already done one, done the other panel, and so I wanted to do this one with you guys just so that we can see. And so what I did was I tore off just part of it so that if it's not placed correctly where I want it, I can have room enough to move her around, but she is fine. So now I can finish pulling off the rest of the backing. The rest of her backing. And lay her down. Rolling her, kind of like rolling her down so that air doesn't get in between her. So there she goes. She is placed um, down on there. We're gonna add some wording, lettering to her. Um, I've already printed them out on my Cricut Joy, put the transfer tape on them. So all we have to do is apply it to the purse. And this is again part of my black girl series of purses that I am doing just because you know we 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 don't you know I just want to celebrate us and um it was actually a project that started for um Black History Month and Juneteenth and all that good stuff but we ended up running over into uh, creating things due to the fact that I had other stuff I had to study. And um, yeah, so, but we're still here. And we're adding this on here. And this is just showing you how ver you could be so versatile with how you... Um, design your purses 
I need some I need to hire somebody but I can't afford to it's crazy a small business people but it, it's gonna all get better <laughs> time wise and everything it's just hard to find someone that is passionate about what you do you know so we also have melanated as one of the words so I'm gonna go ahead and peel the backing off of this one okay now we're gonna place this one right there You just want to lay them. I'm eyeballing. But you want to lay them right where they're nice and even lined up. Now you can spray your stickers with Mod Podge spray so that you don't damage them if they get wet in between the time that you um, apply them on. Um, I just haven't been, I don't have any, so I didn't use any for my uh, stickers. Sometimes I do Maj Podge those um, just to secure them. So that's, yes, you can do that. I did not do it with these because I'm going to cover it. And they've been doing pretty good as far as um, not bleeding or anything like that. So I don't know if that was just the extra step I was taking, but... That's what we did. So now we're going to prepare some resin. Get ready to coat her. And that's what you have. And then there's the other one. Okay. So she's going to be cute. I think she's going to be a cute little, little purse. I just always wanted to do something like this. But hold tight. Okay. We're going to go ahead and prepare our surface. So I keep like a little box here available. So that I can put my uh, shells in the box that we have so that the resin doesn't damage anything. I line it with parchment paper. Like so. But they do the job. I'm gonna just set them right on top. And this just kind of elevates them out of the way. It just elevates them so that the resin will drip off. Okay. So there you have that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and prepare us some resin. To put on top, I think she is so pretty. I think she's gonna be a pretty purse. So 
so I emptied out my A yesterday and put a top on it. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this with some B, our premium epoxy resin. This is the last little bit of my A and it's done. Well, this particular one is finished. Um, and I still got some B left over because I had an extra some left over from another kit. And so we use that and yeah. I'm gonna start this up, mix them together. I like the epoxy resin store because the resin is affordable. It's a decent resin. You're not spending a lot and you can kind of resell your items and make a little money. So I do like the price point. I hope they don't change it um, as people start to buy it more. Scrape along the sides and the bottom and make sure you get that nice and mixed well. What was weird was when I poured this top coat with this glitter on here, I used that resin and poured what was left over into a mold and it would not get hard. I do not know what happened. The actual project would not get hard. It got hard. It took a minute for it to get hard on the shelves. However, it was still sticky in the bottom. I don't know what went wrong with that particular mixture. I really don't because I know everything was measured correctly. Um, just don't know what happened. So I'm gonna make sure I mix this one really, really good. Let's see something that's in it. Yep, so you keep stirring. All right, we are back. We're gonna go ahead and pour the top, starting in the middle. I don't, I'm, I'm left-handed, so I always use my right as my strongest hand, so I don't know if that'll get used to coming from this angle so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. Just going to go right up to the edges first like we did the first time and then come back and get our sides but the main thing is to is to encapsulate everything in uh, encapsulate everything into the resin on top first So 
I like to start from one end and work my way down. Well, I start in the middle by pouring it, but you just work it up to the edges without, you know, going over. So, so this might need just a center more just so we can be able to move it without scraping. So that's that one. Let's go ahead and get her going. so loving this this is so relaxing just to come craft and watch your designs come to life she's been living in my head for a minute actually come to life it's everything of amazing It's really good actually starting to run on this corner so we probably just come back and coat the sides if it starts to run I just go ahead and put some along the sides because 
to try and stop it, it's almost impossible. So, if it starts to run, that's fine. Just go ahead and smear it across the sides. It will level out. In this case, it is smoothing out that glitter. So I guess we kind of do want it to go over the sides a smidge of a bit. Around so that I can see this other side and just kind of see it from a different angle. was empty. And you can always pick up on the lawn that what then dripped off and apply that to the areas that is a little shy of material. I'm getting good at not using so much. having just enough to complete the project. So I think all of these sides are full. I'm just running my stick across them to make sure that looks good. Okay. Everything out. All right. Clean our cup. Again, you want to make sure you are checking it periodically and looking at it to make sure everything is what it's supposed to be. I'm already, like I see a little small void that I need to tackle. So I'll be definitely tackling that real quick. I'm going to clean our cups though. I'll get our cups clean. Along the life of those, 
option. It's like right here. I see a little avoided area. So I'm going to go to the scraper. Put some resin over here. That looks good. Okay. I think we good to go now. Okay. So we're going to knock out any surface bubbles that we may have. Set this to the side to dry, and then we'll come back with the inside and the side shields, and she gonna be all ready. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's our last little bit of resin. Um, now I'm looking for my little torture. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Fill it up, come back and hit it with the lighter, and you guys kind of understand what's going on here. I'm probably out of fluid. All right, guys, we are back, and she came out so pretty. I see the glitter in her. I see the glitter. Okay, but now we're gonna cut off the drippings and put our uh, felt inside sound absorption so that it don't be the belongings don't be clinkering and tinkering around let me move this out the way so it don't get dirty and i'm just taking my my little nippers here wire nippers wire cutters whatever and using these to cut off the little drippings that has fell or dripped off of the purse when we dried it these I don't dry in the resin heater. I usually let these kind of air dry, air cure. I tried that and the resin just kind of dried up so funky, so, or cured up so funky, I just don't put the purses in there unless it is the full resin purse. But the shell purses with the resin cover. I don't put those in the oven. Okay, I think that's it. It's all of them. A few more right here. I'm just trying to make it flush as possible. So that when we put it in the frame, it'll lay in the frame, even and flush, and not give us no problems. on the inside of it. I like to be generous 
with it because it's sticking to this belt. And so you want to have a nice amount in there because the felt will absorb it. I'm just taking it and making sure I'm getting all up along my edges and sides and all of that. You can use E6000, whatever kind of glue. I just always use the Maj Podge. I don't know. It dries clear. And it lets me be able to kind of maneuver it and maneuver it around. I might try it with some um, Gorilla Glue or E6000 or something. But for the most part, I'm this has been working. Okay, wipe that off. I have my felt here. Paid thirty like thirty three cents for this at the um, Walmart, and I'm just gonna cut it up the middle. So I only need a part of it, half of it, and I'm hoping that that is enough. And then what I'm gonna do from there is I'm gonna come in, cut the corners into the middle, towards the middle. You might have to do some adjusting as you go, but I just like to cut the corners into the middle to start. To kind of give me a base to maneuver with. I think this is going to work. It just makes it where the, um, the felt will fold into the corners easier. You just turn the corners in. And it just makes it where to sit into the corners and make your sides flush. And so you can come back and cut the excess out. But it keeps it from buckling. to do is come in before it dry cut my overlap cut some of those pieces out This is where the custom part of the end, you just customizing it and sizing it so that it'll fit and look clean when it dries. It's going to look super clean. Trimming some of that so I can see. 
okay and we're gonna set this in the dryer let me set this up under the fan so it can dry Inside sides is all flush everything is nice and flush and it provides that sound absorption that you're gonna need when they put their trinkets inside the purse okay come back we'll finish it up okay guys we're gonna get ready to put our side shields in to this purse and for this particular purse we are going to use clear side shields because that's all that I have to go with this white and black. And I'll just make it a little, you know, again, more polished. These are the side shields that normally comes with the purse. So we are going to use these for this particular purse. So just to show you that you can use the side shields that's in, that comes in with the kit. They're not as thick, but they still will do the job. I'm gonna make sure we line them up right. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. And these I'm gonna take a little bit further out. As far as my um, V goes, because they are just a tad bit wider than the ones that I cut. And so, but I want them to be to open up the complete length, I just want to take some of them, some of it off of the sides here. So I'm lining them up. And I'm going to cut it along this line. give us those okay and the silver frame here just make sure that it works everything is working properly is opening and closing correctly it is we have our double-sided tape here we're gonna get ready to install our sides and I'm just measuring what I need Hopefully I can, nope, might as well throw this little bit away. Let's get another roll of our double-sided tape. Cutting it up the middle. Applying it along the edge. off the backing and clean it to the side of the frame slide it around get the other side in here and I'm gonna do the same exact thing Honestly, I could take some of this off, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like we have it. These are a little bit more flexible because they're not as thick. 
so but they will keep the client's belongings on the inside of it and that's the main part we want to make sure that the client's belongings stay on the inside of the purse okay so that's that's one let's get the other one on here and then we'll attach the shields to them and this one will be almost finished Super sticky. And I cut it up the middle because you do not need this wide of a strip. You only need like half of it. So I cut it up the middle, stretching it as well as that's all that you really need. So that it'll be hidden on the side and not be seen when the client opens the purse. Come around to the other side. Stick it down in there and then press it. Okay. And there you have it. Okay. Side shields are in. Now we're going to get ready to glue our frames in. our um, shelves in here. They done. So now we're gonna go and trim. See, nice and clean. Can't even see what a Maj Podge was. So I'm just gonna trim off some of this felt that we do not need. Trim out little extra pieces if you see that you don't want me in here. Okay, that's pretty good for that one. Now we're going to test it, make sure everything it will go in here before we glue it. Everything is gonna fit nicely. And it looks like it is going to fit it nice a little bit off of there okay I 
have our fix all glue here. You can use E6000, super glue, whatever you have. This is the side that has the mechanism in it, so I'm not going to go all the way across the top. Okay. I got a little glue on my fingers, so I'm trying to keep it from sticking. Pushing my plastic down in there. making sure everything is nice and flush in there because one time one side you can see well the other side you won't be able to see so it's always good to check it and like this corner it's having a hard time being flush up in the oozing out already this side is the non-mechanism side so I could take it all the way around Same thing, we're going to trim this side down, what we don't need. All of the edges and parts.
we'll go ahead and place this one inside the frame. Open this one up too just to check it and see like my bottom part right here needs to be flush in as well as my side so we will take this back out try to um, put that in there a little, a little better and you can always um, get whatever glue that you may have extra glue with your glue remover um, rubber okay. and then there she is okay. come back we'll show you the finished product we're gonna let her dry all right guys she is dried and this is the finished purse that is the inside side shields are in go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you can be uploaded up notified when we upload new exciting content guys um if you be so kind if you are learning anything and you are um, getting tips from the channel, please donate to the channel. Um, people charge like $25 and up for classes on how to do some of these things that you are learning here for free. I Everything I do is out of pocket expenses. So if you will be so kind to donate or just share the channel, follow me on TikTok. Also, um, Follow me and subscribe and like there as well so that I can build up my following as well. Go ahead and like me at Paler Made. Uh, I think it's Paler Made at TikTok. At TikTok, Paler Made is my username there. So you can find me. It's also included in the bio below. All Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, any way you want to donate is fine. It could be $5, it could be $2, whatever you feel blessed on your heart uh, to just assist the channel in moving forward. I buy all of the modes um, out of pocket and I share all those new things with you guys. Everything. Um, I have no sponsors at this time. So again, everything is out of pocket. So if you are learning things, you find my channel valuable and you like to, um, to support in that way, you can do that um, by donating to the channel. Um, but she came out so pretty, guys. So I'm going to have final pictures. But there you go. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. See you on the next one. Thank you so much.